Hey design lovers and welcome back to the Crown the Cool YouTube channel where we discover everything about interior design. Today I'm thrilled to invite you to my personal sanctuary, my home. Today we're going to walk through some of my favorite rooms and I'm going to show you some of my favorite design elements in each room. This video is just part one so remember to subscribe to see part two. First impressions are so important and the entrance to my home was very important to me. I wanted to create something that when somebody walks in, they know what they're walking into. Something bold, fun, and energetic, just like me. I encapsulated this whole room in wallpaper, ceiling, walls, everywhere, just because I wanted visitors to know who I am, somebody who can curate all things beautiful but be daring at the same time. Sometimes you find these pieces are just meant to be, like these fabulous pieces I found at Ramble Market. They're vintage pieces that are 100 years old. I completely fell in love with the beauty of the details within the art. And I thought, this matches my wallpaper completely. And how could like a 100 year old painting match a brand new wallpaper? That's when you know like design is timeless. So I love this light from the beginning of time and I knew I had to have it. I knew it was a little too big for the space, but I didn't care. It was supposed to bring like this huge visual impact of like bubbles and airiness and boldness and I love it. It doesn't matter who you are, Amazon driver, the president elect, I don't care. I'm looking to evoke emotion and I'm always so happy when someone says, holy fuck, I wasn't expecting this. All right guys, so let's move on to the kitchen where I do a lot of dishes, which I hate, by the way. So before we get into the kitchen, I wanna show you my bar and pantry area where we decided to put the fridge in here. It's hidden and you'd never know it'd be here. Just like this. <laughs> Moving the refrigerator to this space cleared up all this free space in the kitchen and now it's just a cool focal point for visitors to admire and talk about when they come and hang out with me. So let's go to the kitchen. There is a reason why I created this island to be almost 10 feet long. I love entertaining and I love having people all gather in one place. So this island is a great place for making pizzas, sitting here, talking, creating lovely memories with your family and friends. But the one thing that I hate is that it doesn't have a lot of natural light. And in my wildest dreams, I really wanted a dark black kitchen, but I knew it would be too gloomy in here. So I went with more light and airy with the light gray um, cabinets and this really pretty mosaic glass tile. Who doesn't love mixing it up in the kitchen? And that's why I chose um, this white oak island to kind of mix it up from the gray um, cabinetry that I have on my kitchen counters. So I love lighting and I say lighting is jewelry of the home. So I had to have the most amazing pieces in my kitchen. So from these pendants to the amazing chandelier that's um, over my dining room table, it's a mixture of bold brass and beauty. And as you know, I'm a huge lover of art and I had to incorporate art everywhere, including over my oven and hood area. Um, in the dining nook area, I have everything from photos of Tina to original paintings, you know, sky's the limit and don't ever put yourself in a box because you can do anything if you just feel it and see it. Okay, so one of the biggest things that I take away from my kitchen is that it's airy, it's artsy, it's fun, it's fabulous. It's me. Welcome to my mudroom. This place truly transports me into a cafe in Paris. There are three elements that I really love about this mudroom, from the monochromatic blue walls, to the black and white tile floors, and to the incredible artwork that I have by Peter Keel. If you watch my other uh, YouTube video, this space truly reminds me of that amazing hotel, proper hotel, but the villain, the monochromatic walls and the geometric tile, it ties together beautifully, as you can see. So the last space I wanna share with you is my powder bathroom that I had a lot of fun creating while pregnant with my second child. Here we are, darlings. So. The best thing about this bathroom, it sparks a lot of feelings of nostalgia for me of my youth. It literally has a neon sign and really fun wallpaper and cool artwork. It's a place that I can let my hair loose and feel creative. 
I hope you guys loved this tour of my home and if you guys did, I would love for you to subscribe so you can check out part two. Remember, ask yourself, are you bold enough to break the molds?